Hi everyone, I'm Joanna Leggett. I'm at my house here in the Dordogne and I'm just about to look at fabulous prop property that our photographer Cyril has been out to see. Um, but apparently there's a surprise in the property. He said, wait until you see the surprise. So I'm quite excited. Hope you are too. So let's go and have a look. So this property actually comes with 30 hectares of land. So if you're looking at horses, I don't know if you have horses, but what an excellent spot to have them. It's actually set among the vineyards of the Madiron, and also it's quite nice near to Armagnac. I don't know if you've tried Armagnac, it's a very nice local drink, and it comes from the Armagnac area, of course. So let's go and have a look and see what that surprise is going to be. Hi everybody, for those who are used to this YouTube channel, you probably recognize me, Cyril, the photographer and videographer from Leggett and today I'm going to show you a really special and unique chateau. I'm quite excited about this because when Cyril says it's unique and it's something special it really is so I'm quite looking forward to seeing what he's been up to in there. Stunning front and what a lovely entrance. And you can see it's got absolutely nothing around it. It's set in 30 hectares of its own land. So there's lots of things you can do with land. What would you do with it? Would you have horses, sheep? So this is the main chateau and it features 12 bedrooms, 11 bathrooms, a large, huge kitchen here. And also here we'll find a really massive, massive outbuilding. I think what Cyril's just said there, this property definitely lends itself as a wedding venue which is really popular so many people get married in France would you think about getting married in France this would be definitely a place I'd like to be if you've got Armagnac just on one side and you've got the Madiron vines on the other I mean what a fabulous place to go wine tasting and Armagnac tasting so for tourism it'd be absolutely ideal you know you've got all of these things and you could even stock the local wine and the local Armagnac in that lovely entertaining area which is great people love that there are not many, many places that could potentially be as successful as this place because there's not so much chateaus in, uh, in the Gers. You have beautiful villages. On, uh, we have, uh, there's another chateau up there on the hill, uh, right in the middle of the vineyard. This one, but not so much of, of those. So. And actually, that's quite right. I know for, for a fact, most of the chateaus are up in the sort of Loire areas and just outside of Paris. That's where they were originally built um, to be near to Versailles. So having a fantastic sh um, chateau like this in the south, you know, further south, where you've got the lovely warm temperatures, absolutely ideal. So it's a real gem. If you run it as a business, potentially, that can only be a big success because of the location, because of the proximity of those major cities, because of the mountains nearby, the Pyrenees Mountains, and the Pays Basque with the coastline. So this is the private kitchen of uh, the current owners. And I think it's really comfortable. It's warm in there. Um, they kept the original tiles and most of the things like the wood beams, they did not change much of the atmosphere of the original place, so I quite like it. And actually what Cyril is saying is that that's really rare. A lot of places that I've been to visit, and you probably have if you've been on visits, they take all these original floors out and they cover up the beams. And, you know, to be able to get original flooring like that is quite rare. And they've obviously really looked after that. It's a real, real gem. Okay, so this is, this is the entrance of one. I took randomly one of the 12 bedrooms in that chateau. And as you can see, it's been renovated to the highest standards with great aluminum windows, nice decoration, the colors, the, I mean, you can instantly feel and see that they've done a brilliant job at renovating that place. And the style is quite, Unique, look at that, <laughs> look at that. <laughs> 
I absolutely love that. And actually, that you, you might think that chateaus, I don't know if you think this, that chateaus are going to be too expensive, but you know, it is a myth. If it's being renovated like this one has to this high standard, the insulation's going to be great. The costs are going to be a lot lower than what you think. And also taxes in this area aren't too expensive. But you can see, as Cyril's just said, the quality of the work in this place is absolutely outstanding. And I love all the little quirky bits and the fact that the furniture's staying. So you don't even have to go out and do it yourself. And you get a lot of properties when the when the uh, furniture stays with the house, but this one, I mean, the furniture's fantastic. I actually want to go and live there. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Actually, it's, it's probably just as well that Cyril didn't take me with him on that one because I probably wouldn't have left. Okay, so we've been there. We have seen this nice bedroom. What is here? Let's have a look. And the colours they've chosen. Now, I'm not normally one for colours, if you've seen any of my other videos, but these colours are really arty. It's absolutely fabulous. What do you think? Is this your kind of style? Do drop me some comments and let me know what you think, or let me know what you would use the property for. I'm always interested to hear what people would use the property for. Just a family home, or would you run a business from here? Wow, look at that library, it's original. Huh? We can instantly see it from the glass, which is irregular, and the original wood panels. Oh my God, it's beautiful. It's really beautiful. And you can imagine that beautiful library in the old days, obviously they wouldn't have had televisions, they wouldn't have had cinema, they wouldn't have had mobile phones, so they probably would have spent a lot of time in that room, I would imagine, because all they would have had was books and art, of course. Okay, we've seen the bottom floor, so let's go upstairs. There's two additional levels. On the first floor, we'll find uh, some additional bedrooms. And on the top floor, it's a private apartment for the actual uh, owners. I quite like that, because if you're having guests, you always, a lot of chateau owners move out into a cottage or something, but I love the fact that they've got a private um, guest accommodation for the actual owners inside the property itself. I really like that so you know what's going on. I must say, in the 20 years I've been in this business, I've never seen a chateau so it was well decorated as this one, I absolutely love it. Okay, so this is the top floor, the last floor, and this is the private apartment from the owners. Uh, they've done quite a beautiful job here. We've got, once again, uh, air conditioning everywhere. Uh, the dog, <laughs> their dog. So we have a beautiful open view on the landscape. So the great thing about this apartment as well, it has a separate entrance. It's got about four bedrooms and a storage area that could be renovated into more. Um, and that's the great thing is being able to have friend space because obviously if the chateau is rented out or people are staying there or using it for a function, it means you can still have friends over in a totally private space and they can stay over. Um, because that's what we do in France. It's very, very social. And people, when they come over for dinner, too far away to drive back, so everybody stays. And having that guest, you know, that private apartment with guest bedrooms for your own friends, never mind the rental clients, um, is absolutely ideal. And I don't often see that. Um, so they've really thought of absolutely everything in this chateau. Lovely private space with high ceilings, views, the beams is absolutely stunning. Okay, we've seen that part. Let's have a look here. What's here? 
It's a really large suite with two beds here. We've got one master bedroom here. So you could have the parents with their private bathroom and you could have the kids here with their private bathroom. So that's a really nice bedroom for a family in holidays in the Gers. It's absolutely, I mean, it literally, you could just walk into that place and run your business straight away. There's absolutely nothing to do. Um, and they've thought of everything, you know, the family suite with the two bedrooms for the children, the double bedroom for the parents. Um, you know, the renting p potential is huge. Um, absolutely stunning place. So the great thing about this is business opportunity is, well, I would say is there's very, very few chateaus in this area. Um, you know, there's going to be no competition. So it's a fabulous area to go and stay. It's literally a stone's throw away from the Madaron vines and vineyards. And if there is any chateaus in their area, they probably are associated with the vineyards. So having this kind of guest accommodation um, that you could use for weddings or, you know, for people that could rent it out. I mean, another an idea would be a film set. I mean, what a fabulous place to film. Um, you know, it definitely could be used as a location point. I mean, the art and everything in it, you can tell the owners have put so much effort into that. And they're obviously artists. Um, you could tell by the colours and how it flows through the house. I mean, the chateau is just really wonderful. Um, and it is literally a turnkey walk in and run a business straight away with hardly any competition. Let me know what you think. Okay, enough of those nice bedrooms. You remember, I told you at the beginning that there was something unique about this chateau and a surprise. So let's go outside in the over outbuilding and you'll see what I'm talking about. So there are uh, several terraces, one there, one here. There's one terrace here. And there is this barn that we'll visit in a minute. You'll see it's really interesting. So this part is the swimming pool. It's closed at the moment. It's currently closed, but you can imagine. Nice view. And still the dog. You're always there. And you also notice, not just the dog, of course, the fabulous furniture that's outside. It's I mean, nothing, it's all original kind of style. There's not your, you know, your plastic chairs or your wooden chairs. I mean, everything is absolutely fabulous, interiors and exteriors, and a lovely dog. The colours that they've used throughout exteriors and, um, you know, in the exterior, as well as the inside of the house are just fantastic. I mean, really, really arty people. So you stay here? Uh, let's enter and have a look inside. So this is a little lounge with some toilets there and it goes straight outside to the swimming pool and terrace. What I've noticed there, it's really nice, is if the children, if you've got children staying, the children can be out in the pool and the parents don't have to be in the pool as well. They can sit in that lovely lounge there and keep a really close eye on the children. That's a really good space and very good idea. And you can see there's a professional bar. It could be a restaurant or for your guests if you run a B&B or boutique hotel. Um, air conditioning everywhere, stone walls, nice industrial look to that uh, stair staircase. Upstairs, there's another lounge. The other thing I can see with this, having this big kitchen, uh, you know, industrial kitchen um, or commercial kitchen, is that you could actually rent the whole chateau out itself if you didn't want to do it as a chambre d'eau. I mean, there's lots of very high-end people that want to be somewhere discreet, don't want to get found out, don't want to have paparazzi following them around. I mean, this place is absolutely ideal for that um, because it's in the middle of its own 30 hectares. It's away from all the sort of prying eyes. It's an absolutely superb place for somebody who's perhaps famous, rich and famous, or wants to get away from it all, to rent a place like this would just be absolutely fantastic. Look at that, this lounge is absolutely brilliant. It's massive and I love the atmosphere. And once again, 
paintings, modern art everywhere. The color of the match really well, I think, with the place. I'm actually quite jealous now that I didn't go with Cyril to look at this property and I'm watching it like you are on our video, so it's definitely worth a view. So we have seen we have seen that part of the barn, that part, but this is the part that I love the best. And surprise, this is the cherry on top. Now I knew there was going to be a surprise, and obviously looking at all the art around the place, it had to be a gallery um, because they're obviously fabulous artists and so creative. So this is going to be great. Can you imagine they've got their own private art gallery? What Chateau has its own art gallery. Unbelievable. Um, the other great thing about having a gallery is obviously you can sell the paintings to the guests that may come in. Um, but it would also be quite nice to use for local artists um, to have exhibitions, for example. They could have exhibitions held at the Chateau um, to display their art. Um, and there's not many places that you can do that these days as well. So having a gallery in the middle of a, in the middle of a Chateau, in the middle of its own land, I mean, what a superb place to hold an exhibition. So many opportunities with this property. It is really, really stunning and such a great area and definitely, definitely worth a look on the website. There'll probably be some virtual tours on there as well um, and it'll give you all the details on what it's currently being used for and it'll give you an idea of the size, but what a stunning property. I'm really glad I saw that with you this morning. Well, hopefully I will see you on the next video, but do leave me your comments. I'm really interested to hear what you think about that property, what you would use it for. Um, and if you could see yourself living there. I'm really interested in finding out and I will see you next time on our next video.